Hi, Ernie. Hey, I want to see some smart moves. What do you have prepared for us today? So today we will be looking at something we haven't done yet in our video lessons, which will be studies. But we we touched we had one study in our last we did show, but we did have one. them we never had it as a full topic. That's uh, true. But yes, we did have a study last time, which was which was fun. And studies or compositions, they're otherwise called, uh, usually are. Uh, are composed by someone so these things didn't come from actual games but they were composed by some uh, really creative chess players or authors and mm -hmm. uh, they usually have one solution or very um, a very narrow solution and it's uh, it can be as long as uh, i don't know 200 moves or like 100 moves yeah. it's, they go they go all the way but uh, yeah so today i'll show some of the ones that uh, that I enjoyed, and hopefully you will too. And uh, yeah, they're usually they're usually uh, known to be difficult to solve. Great, yeah. Okay, so I like about this uh, couple of facts. Uh, first, you have to be creative again, a couple of times. Mm -hmm. So this is a thing I just enjoy. But um, for me, it is difficult because I often look at studies when they're on Twitter or like from our chess-based news site, and then I'm just passing them passing by and look at them and then oh this should be working and then i'm getting stuck to them and then i cannot so find as you out, learned so. to play chess you didn't really do studies as part of your training unfortunately not and i think you mentioned you did this because your chess coach said like it's there is some importance for this and I, yes I, I, d I didn't really like it when <laughs> when we used to do it because it was usually some very tough ones yeah. and you just feel like I'm never getting this in an actual game. Why am I even doing this? But uh, I do see the um, the benefits now that at the end of the day, it is really good um, to develop your creativity and make you think in ways you haven't uh, thought about before. All right. So here is your first one. Okay. Yeah. For you at home, of course, now's the chance to, yeah, to go into the hard brain teasers, I believe. Because mm -hmm. yeah, it's going. I guess it's going to be difficult. I mean, who am I fooling, right? Studies are tough, so um, just take it as a good, interesting exercise if you haven't done it before. Also, by the way, I just uh, thought about the people who are composers. They don't necessarily have to be that amazingly good chess players. It can be right. players who have a quite low rating, but they just have this understanding of how to compose. So this is an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. which you really have to go like, okay, you have to think around the corner a little bit more. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to be brilliant at chess to solve those puzzles. Yeah, being a chess composer is a completely different, yeah. I think, set of skills than being a chess player. Yeah, but it's it's not any less fascinating. I Sometimes I look at it and I have no idea how you can come up with something like that. Okay, <clears throat> we're white. Yeah. Are we winning? We are hopefully winning. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> if you find the, the solution, we are winning. Okay. Um, so <coughs> we're going to do this in probably in parts. So you first try to find, uh, you try to find the first part of it. And then if you're on the right track, I'll, um, we'll, we'll move on to the next uh, okay. part of it. So what I'm trying to look for is moves which have to be answered mm -hmm. kind of so mm -hmm. not moves which are uh, which have plenty of options so the only move yeah. i can think of actually is bishop d1 yeah and that's a great move so limiting the knight um in the corner and we are essentially forcing him to play knight to b3 because in case he doesn't we're just going to take that pawn on a on a4 and pretty much win with uh, with b4 oh, and wow. uh, promote one of our pawns the knight is stuck in the corner forever yeah, and yeah. this is just winning so the actual uh, line goes with knight b3 that's the only move to protect the pawn and this is where the um yeah the it starts now i'm really confused okay so from if you can pull the the magical um how do you call it the magical box of the pawn where the black king is inside around the pawn on a3 mm -hmm. then i would he doesn't make it yeah so how on earth can black turn this around so of course 
this cannot be as simple as that. So there has to be yeah. some. So you I, you have to also try to look for the opponent's defensive idea. He does have a pretty good one. I think w the only way of defending this, in my opinion, is a stalemate attempt. You are correct. So what just so I want to know. So we take on B3, but yep. um, after A4, how to... Ah, oh, yeah. So the king goes to H4, pulls all his pawns he can move forward, and that's... We get the queen, yeah. and we, we, we have a stalemate, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, and we can't do anything with it. So Unbelievable. Um, so let me show the line. So this is not the solution because of, yes. for that reason. Uh, because nice. the king is going to trap himself in the corner. So now we're going to promote. He's going to play g5. And this is it. And even though we have promoted to a queen, the queen doesn't have options to get to any checkmating point And the king just box himself in. So, um, so yeah, what do you how do you think this can be solved? Well, I, if, is there even a way to prevent this from happening? I, yeah, well, I have to think. <laughs> so what happens if our king can move to f1, e2, hmm, cannot make it to f3 because the black king is quicker. So that's really fascinating. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this is uh, what always happens in those uh, studies that you're often blown away, especially by the classical ones or those studies which are like, mm -hmm. is this is this like a famous study? Probably, yeah. Oh, I, I This is by a famous uh, author, which is Troitsky. Yeah. I'm not sure if you've heard of him, heard but of him. He's, uh, he has like <laughs> Massive hundreds amounts, of studies. Yeah, yeah maybe thousands, I don't know. But he's one of the most famous studies composers. So, yeah, but I mean, there's also after... Um, yeah, so it's interesting. After knight b3, there's actually also no other option than taking the knight, I guess. Right. Because if the knight is roaming around freely, the game is... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a different game, and probably black will actually win. Mm -hmm. So how to do this? What could we possibly do? I guess we, I mean, we cannot move much else than our king, I assume. So what happens after king f1, king h5, king e2? Uh, he can go for the exact same idea. Yeah. And box himself in. And I don't think anything changed. Okay, good. Then this cannot work. Wow, that's... That's uh, hilarious. <laughs> so how can we um, how can we make sure he still has moves left when um, he's about to get to that stalemate formation? I love this question, and I try to find it out <laughs> because we're so you'll limited. get to the solution after you try every option. Every option. So okay. What happens if we don't get a queen? Yes, we get a knight. Now you, now you got it. So I knew it. I, I've thought about it before, but I couldn't see the move b6. Oh. Right. So we um, and we do the same thing again. Oh, you saw you saw the rest of it. So I didn't see the rest of it. I didn't see. I don't see anything. But I. I but I'm calculating now. It has to happen like this. Yeah, so it be, because there is the, our a four, uh, our a pawn is basically the only hope. So this almost forces us to find the right, uh, really nice solution. And you are right that we are under promoting to a knight, and we are doing this to make sure that we have a move that gives the opponent move options so that he doesn't run out of them. So he already ran out of moves on the king side. He's. Uh, has no moves left there. So this is why we give him a move by playing knight to b6. So he is going to take. And what was your idea for the rest of it? So, yeah, I, I, it's, I mean, it is actually it is 
very simple after you found out the night because the rest is automatically happening. So we promote right. to a night again because the same exact thing will happen one more time. That is right. Okay, not the queen, the knight. Oh, we lost, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we didn't lose, actually, but yeah. So now the pawn has to move to b4, and we move mm -hmm. our knight again to d6. And yeah. the, the joke of the whole thing is that we get a knight one last time to checkmate. Exactly. Massive. And now the knight can go to... Yeah, we have two options, actually. Many ways, yeah. So we have two options, and uh, the knight does end up checkmating. So... I thought this was <laughs> this was a funny study where you get three nights in a row. Uh, you rarely ever see that um, see that in a game, but uh, it was um, yes. These stalemate ideas happen so often in uh, in those studies, and uh, it's sometimes. Um, and this study also shows that it's not always about your own ideas, but also finding your opponent's defensive uh, resources. So you had to. That was something to take care of. Are you ready for the next one? Yes, you okay. bet. Am I? <laughs> okay, so oh gosh. the next one, once again, <laughs> it looks like something completely impossible from a real game, but this is more about um, yeah, about create be, uh, about some creative ideas. So um, it is white to move again, and you do want to find a checkmate eventually. Wait, 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 so wait. wait. We're, Oh, there is a move left. I thought C3. I solved it, but the king C3. can go to C5. Right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes. That's it. So next one. That was amazing. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Um, white to move and... And, uh, yeah, and checkmate. Crazy. I don't expect you to see the entire thing uh, right away because it's a bit of a longer uh, solution. But okay. what are some ideas you see? So what happens? Because then we again, we go to this pattern, which you named at the very beginning, absolutely forced moves. Let's try it out to just to get an idea right. and get some more clues. C3. King goes C3? to C5. Sounds Knight good. A4, C4. check. Yeah. King, King B5. Only move is there. And now b b Rook... Uh, C5, C4, Jesus. Rook, I like, I like the rook moves. Um, C4, right? King so that's, that's a nice A6. check. King A6 is forced. Yeah. So and now this is the part where it has to be getting tricky, I guess. Yeah, not particularly tricky, but this is where um, the idea itself lies. So... You need to, obviously, what we want to do whenever we see a king like that on a6 is we want to checkmate him. I but the question is how to do that. So what I realize right now is that, first of all, the king has no more moves left. Mm -hmm. The pawn on a5 and a7 have no moves left. Mm -hmm. And the bishop, which felt like a threat on e3, is completely cute and like just a stat statue because it cannot do anything it cannot right. arm our king or our bishop or our knight or pawn so what yeah. we just do is we walk around all the way with our king to i would say c8 and checkmate with the bishop on b7 mm -hmm. so the only thing, though, is how are you going to? Uh, what's your What's your route? Uh, why do you have to ask? I, th <laughs> I thought you would go like, yes, that's correct, Arn, you had it right. Let's play it like that. So I guess the king has to go to. Yeah, well, that it starts already. I would have said c two, but maybe. Okay, it doesn't c two or c three. Not a big difference, probably. Okay. Okay, so. D three, yeah. Ah, Let's say play here. And I once you do that, uh, I will gladly exactly. escape. So we have to push our bishop to d5 now. Okay, you you think d5? Mm. Uh, so the solution itself is c6. c6. I don't think I it just makes. Wanted to correct myself. Yes, sorry. I don't think it makes a huge difference. Uh, okay. It's uh, the exact same idea, and you were completely right about the king maneuver. Where does it go? C2. Okay, c2. Sounds good. Uh, I will play bishop back to d4. d3. 
Oh no! It's not D three, but you D1. can have the. Now I see it. Now I see what's what's. Now going you see on. it. Yes. So, so the point was through D three. If you wanted to go to E four, then you're letting one exactly, of the pawns promote, exactly. which isn't it. And what is the idea with King D one? That we go to G two with the king. Exactly. So we almost made it to the other corner, and. Um, so yeah, now, and went around through h3. So what and, will probably happen at one point, black will move all their pawns and we just right. pick them so up. So black could have done that at any point. Yeah. They can even do it now. Uh, but the funny part is that it doesn't matter how many pawns they move. Um, because our bishop, as long as it stays on this diagonal, no. it can take all of them. No. And it doesn't change a single thing for no. the black king. Crazy. Because he stays, um, yeah, he How stays stuck there. I would be so frustrated if I would play black. Right. Just saying. Yeah. So where is our final destination of the king? Well, it's. I think it's still c8. Yeah. That should. Be, That's where the king ends up enough. going. And poor bishop cannot do anything. Terrible. Because nobody. Uh, uses the black squares here. <laughs> because black. nobody listens to him. He's like, the king is in danger. <laughs> and the bishop gets to b7 <laughs> and we get the checkmate. So this was, nice. uh, yeah, the cre the creative study to see, um, yeah, to, to get to get finally get to the checkmate with the king going all the way from b3 to c8. Nice. And wow. yeah, a lot of fun. You are. Next one. Next one. You're ready. Okay. So this one is, I think, a bit harder in a way. So this one, you, I won't tell you to play for... Um, I'll, you're going to sort of be playing for both sides. So I, Because I want you to see the ideas for, for both of them. So for okay. white. Let, let's start with white. But then it's actually going to be to find a win for black. So uh -huh, okay. as white, what would be your defensive idea? Rook c6 check. Exactly. So of <laughs> course, one of the common themes is that is stalemate. In all of these studies, that's of one course. of the main things um, that we take that we always have to take mm -hmm. into consideration. And especially when you are down, how many? <laughs> Eight pawns might be a good idea to <laughs> to Too go for many. a stalemate. <laughs> yes. So rook c6, you are right about rook c6. That's a good defensive idea. So now, as black, uh, do you think there is a way to escape this stalemate? Um, you know what white wants to do? What would you do in this position? So from now on, uh, you will be playing as, yeah, as black. Very interesting. So I'm thinking about this funky, funky idea of Playing d6, e6, f6, g6. Right. But okay. um, then. So let's first see what happens if, um, let's say, the king moves away, okay. right? Let's say the king moves away. What do you think white would do? Why is that not an option well, for us? Well, the, the rook can chase the king to infinity, maybe. Right. The rook is just going to going to give infinite amounts of checks yeah I, there's probably even more options for the checks whichever check it is yeah. the king can never escape those and uh yeah it just goes on forever this so and the same applies to if the king tries to sneak away on h7 we just give the check on h6 and if the king goes to g8 yeah. it has to be taken on h8 exactly Good. so he's, you're talking about this one yeah yeah, so same thing. And uh, we somehow have to escape from that. Yes. Um, so maybe it is actually correct. So your idea was d6, right? Yeah. d6, rook d6. e6. e6, rook e6. f6. f6 takes... g6. Oh, oh you wanted to play g6 even. So if you play g6, I'm going to take it. And how are you ever escaping from the checks? You're on right. The so the whole file? plan is g6 is the pawn left to walk around. Okay, so let's try. Uh, Where does the king, king go? King h7. Rook h6. g8. 
Rock H8. F7. Rock F8. E7. I won't leave you alone. <laughs> E7. Yeah. Okay, I'll play here. Okay, wait, I have to get a get a plan. <laughs> um Ah okay, 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 okay. What? Okay, so I think I have to get my oh no, it's not working. How? Oh that's uh D is no, that's not working. Unless I get my king to Oh, there's... Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, it's not as easy as I thought, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But I think I'm on the right track, maybe. Can you it are. Be? You okay, are. good. So, so two plans I had, but one of them might not be even working. I mean, I don't think I can ever get my king to... Or the white rook to go to e1. But maybe my black rook can help giving a check. But how? But I will always check you. Yeah, yeah. I'm never going to give you that's, a chance to play another move. That's not okay. So Fiona. this doesn't look like it's working out? No. Right, because the thing is, your king uh, doesn't have that many options. So if you try to go um, all the way up to F7, yes. uh, I mean F1, yes. I will yeah. be checking from the side. Um, and yeah, wherever you go... Oh. Um, here same thing but happens. wait 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 no i think you made you just made a mistake but i uh, know you can always give a check on d, on d so i cannot yeah. go to d3 d2 and yeah d1. i always have two yes. i always have the two sorry, options of checks <laughs> that so would have all... been so cool <laughs> yeah it's it's close but actually so your mistake was um was earlier so one of the pawns that you gave up you didn't have to and i'm trying not to be obvious which one wow okay and how does it change things okay so tofu what the heck just lay down please huh <laughs> oh he's so cute what what yeah, well you can just lay down hmm I'm having a show right now. Are you okay? Tofu. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Uh, also, one of the variations that I think I could have shown um, is that um, is is the one where the king goes to B8, uh, to B7. Did you consider that plan of yes, escape? Yes, that was my first plan. But I, then I saw, unfortunately, it doesn't work either. So, yeah. So, this in this case... I will take exactly. on B6. Yeah. Simple. So, okay, let's that. go back to here. How do we leave the right amount of pawns? And what is the right amount of pawns? Right. Oh, okay. So, what about D6? Mm hmm. Takes King G5. Oh. <laughs> you saw the red already. Red squares. Not a good sign. <laughs> yeah. Okay, never mind. I thought about e5 and then going over the I, I I need to have a plan. I need it to have I need is it a good idea to find a final position maybe? I maybe. Maybe it's good. Oh, this is unfortunate. Oh, it started so good, but this one is a killer for me. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. How to? You can try options, and we'll refute them. That's wow. what you do when you're calculating, anyway. <laughs> so, e6, I guess. e6, the same thing as we looked at. Oh boy, have you at home found out the secret, the solution? Don't, no, we, we took it away, the option to 
click on the piece and then see if it's a good spot. No, no, no. <laughs> we don't have that. You cannot cheat. Try to find it out on your own. It's so satisfying. Ah, oh, but this is giving me a headache right now. I need to find the final plan or the idea of what mm. I actually want to accomplish. I think it's... So there must be a reason the rook is on a6. The pawn mm -hmm. is on b6. The problem with those studies is normally every single piece you see has a meaning. Exactly. So that's... Um... That, that's a good way to think about it. It's another property of the studies is that usually when you're the composer, you don't put the useless pieces there. Um, you only put the pieces that are needed. So every piece is on that square for a reason. I have an idea now, I think. What is the idea? I think I have to get my king on the other side and then pull up the pawns again. So what about f6? Okay, f6. Oh, that doesn't sound as if it was like... Sounds good. No, f6 sounds good. Which I'll take. Okay, h7, king h7. Mm-hmm, rook king h6. g8. Yeah. f7. F. Oh, yeah, okay, f7. Sorry, king f7. So mm -hmm. Hey, I hear doggy. Yeah, my dog is... So our pets fun. today, right? Yeah. This one goes out to everyone's pet at home. Give them a pet now. Your chess pet, it's something very valuable. Okay, mission out. Now, king e6. Right, sounds good for so far. King d5. King d5, I will play this, I believe. That is not okay, Svetlana. <laughs> I know. So in the king d5, uh, whenever you cross that... Um, <sighs> that fifth rank your pawns can't help you anymore and that's where it becomes a draw again because i keep making the checks so how about king d7 now then then we try it we try to walk around an eight I let's don't try even, it doesn't help it doesn't help king c8 king b7 king c6 mm-hmm <laughs> why no i i i'm lost no Sotana. you are on the right track <laughs> we're about to get to the solution and you're telling me you're lost <laughs> no. okay king c5 once once this happens once again your pawns won't be able to help you because i'll check you for oh, yeah this you set. mentioned this so then there's the only move which was already again a square we have to take out this function somehow. We have to take it. So, king d7. King d7. So, now we're walking back again. Yeah. Back oh to e8. Oh, my God. I've now, yeah. oh, this is beautiful. That's amazing. No, did, you, did, did you get finally, the solution? Finally, I got it, yeah. That so, is um, so cool. I, could, I didn't... This is the problem. I couldn't find it. And this is... Okay, let me... This is a really nice insight I got. Thinking around the corner and solving puzzles, you're, you're very, very good at this. Frederick Friedel, our co-founder of Chessbase, always gives everybody some puzzle to see, are they competent enough to solve them? <laughs> Which is fun. <laughs> not so, always chess puzzles. Not always chess puzzles, like logical puzzles. So yes. um, it proves a lot if you can think on many levels in many different directions. So mm -hmm. I missed that because I thought there are only so many solutions. I couldn't see the solution because I didn't think further. I didn't think about all the possibilities, which is very important in chess. Mm -hmm. So now, finally, because I've been kind of moved by the hand um, in this direction, I could see the last possible solution which I didn't think of which mm -hmm. if you don't think of it you cannot find it and this is why mm -hmm. I got stuck so king e8 the final king, announcement yeah e8? king f7 now if that's wrong mm -hmm. that will be horrific king g6 <laughs> it's good. 
and uh, king h7 exactly so now the rook cannot continue the checks because um that rook on a6 as you mentioned it's not a useless piece and it's there for a reason and that reason is um is that once we get rid of the right pawns there um the rook can swing to the other side and give checkmate so the thing about those puzzles i think sometimes what helps to solve them is you imagine at the right at the very beginning you sort of imagine what do what's the final position what do i want to like get rid of yes. what do i want to keep and um, yeah that's how you get to that's how you would get to the solution and you did get there nah, eventually yeah I'll, I'll take this loss i'll take this as a so i got two kind of correct this one i didn't get it because um uh it makes it difficult to think about this solution because mm -hmm. the rook is on a6 after all, and it cannot mm -hmm. get to h6. But mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so it's difficult to get there. But yeah, I, yeah, I, it, I love it. It's uh, the most beautiful one so far, I think. Oh. It's so, this is, I mean, you're walking eights around your own pawns for a couple of times it's the only solution right. it's crazy yeah yeah that, that's that's what makes these puzzles uh, so nice so do you want to do another one yes of course okay. i think i'm getting the hang of it how is it about you at home by the way i'm not sure if you have seen it already but um i've made some adjustments for youtube so now we have a complete playlist of all of Svetlana's moves they're all timeless. You have to watch them if you want to learn a little bit more about chess. And um, where did I want to go with this? Yeah, exactly. So that that's just a huge help for you. And you can comment. I will read everything. I cannot answer anything, everything, but I will try to answer open questions which you have or whatever you want to say. If you want to say, tell Svetlana she's doing a great job, I will be happy to tell her. Okay. What's that? So that's the, that's the new <laughs> puzzle. It we look have... like a puzzle. It looks like a normal game, kind of. Yeah, yeah. So this is closer to normal material, and you don't have eight pawns, uh, eight extra pawns for one side. Uh, but this is still um, you'll you'll see you'll see why it's a study and uh, what makes it what makes it a bit unique. Okay. So what are what would be your ideas? here for white it is white to move and uh, how <sighs> would you approach this so let's try to so this is what i learned today already try to mm -hmm. find only moves and try to find already the final position maybe mm -hmm. well the final position to figure out here might be difficult but yeah can, the final position is, is hard i can imagine it's going to be a checkmate by the bishop and the Pawn blocks g8. Mm, that you might be close. So yeah, <laughs> on the long diagonal, we have uh, yeah. we have a really powerful bishop, and it will certainly it will certainly play a role. So so a big problem is that if, if I move my rook away from the g line, then the king can move and the pawn can move, and there's like no more checkmate threats <clears throat> mm -hmm. anymore in my opinion maybe i'm right wrong. so white um uh, black is going to his his idea is to play h5 and yeah. king h7 and get out of there exactly of the corner ah. so we want to make sure he can't do that yeah oh hmm? so what about no, this is funny because I didn't see this before. So I have to think about rook g7. Okay. Because if the rook would take g7, I do not have to take with the pawn. I could just move to f7. Mm -hmm. That's a good start. And we are pretty much trapping in the king in the corner and he is not allowed to play his h5 idea because we're going to promote and he's not allowed to take on f7 either because of the pin so does he have any defensive idea against this there must be and i'm looking at this pawn on a7 and i'm also looking at the stalemate options again 
course. But um, what would happen? Yeah, there is there is actually if the pawn on a7 wouldn't be there, the easiest would of course be to Oh no, it's not that easy. Sorry. Okay, so it is a bit more difficult. <laughs> um so from black side. Yes. How what would you try to achieve? Oh, how about a gift checks? Exactly. So for black, you can do the yeah, the endless idea of uh countless of checks. Giving checks but, forever. But and is it forever? Yeah, it is. No, it is not. That's the problem. And right? how do do you think there's a way to escape that? Yeah, if the king goes to e7, for example. Where? E7. E7. Let's see. So let's give some checks. And you're saying we want to bring the king to e7. Yeah. Now we're going to e6, of course. I think f6 is fine too. But can is f6 fine? No, no f6 because is not they fine. because I'm e6? blocking my own yeah? bishop. That's right. Why, yeah. So here. And now e7. I just thought I just thought that um, um, the idea behind king f6 was that like you couldn't take anyways. So ah. blocking the bishop didn't matter, but okay, yeah, king e6 for sure. Like, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we play king e6? I think both work, by the way. Oh, okay. But yeah, anyways, we still end up on e7. <laughs> yes. And now, I believe his defensive idea is that now you are not allowed to promote. Ooh, yes, of course. So I'm gonna play rook g6. Uh huh. And. Not allow you to promote. Once you take my rook, I'll take back with my rook mm -hmm. and take your pawn. So, so if I go no to promotion for you. Eight, then you give me a check, or what do you mean? Yes, I'll do that. Okay, so then I go to d7. D7, okay, I will do this. Oh. Wait, no, I will do the wait, can I do this? No, I can't. <laughs> I was I, I was wondering if I could at, yeah. <laughs> No, actually, you know what I what I think? What about this? And now your your pawn can't promote, and I'm gonna oh, chase your bishop. Oh, my bishop is attacked. Yeah, that's sweet. And the problem is that even if you get the queen and I have the two rooks, that won't be. It's very difficult. Bishop so it wasn't king d7. Um, king d7 might no, okay. still work, but you're not. Uh, you need to get to the sort of final position that so, you want to. Work. Okay. So my plan, by the way, is to get to the pawn on a7 and hide behind him. So yeah, actually, why don't I go to d8? Why don't you go to d8? <laughs> That's the reason why the pawn is there. Right. So, exactly. Uh, so the pawn wouldn't be there for no reason. Exactly. And that's how you get to the idea of hiding onto Whoa. on a. Eight the umbrella. and oh sorry I went yeah didn't see it that's how you get to a8 and now it turns out that he has no checks left and unfortunately he can't use stalemate to his advantage or something like that because he still has the two pawns that can move freely yeah. and we are promoting on the next move and checkmating Boom. so yeah the idea was to first find the rook g7 and f7 to make sure his king and rook have no moves. Mm -hmm. And then the second part was hiding from the rook checks, as was similar in the previous examples. And uh, and yes, this was um, th these were the checks. You're on a roll. I I didn't think you would solve that many. Ha, ha, I want one last one. Is that okay? One last one. That is possible. Yes. Three to one. I have a Let's, lot. Maybe I can. Uh, I, okay, I... this one is a bit easy. Oh, I hate it when somebody Let me says see. that. <laughs> Let me see. But okay, yeah, it looks it's easy. It's because I have a few of them. It, but this one seems a bit easy. It no, looks. We're not I, I, I had this. I learned this from Carsten Müller. There is even a mm -hmm. checkmate name for this. So the knight has to jump around until the pawns cannot move, and then it's checkmate, kind of. Right, right, right. right. Okay. So that one was a bit too simple, Oof. I thought. So what if we do this one? Hmm. <sighs> 
Uh, I think this one is actually a bit compl too complicated. <laughs> well, that's what I like to hear. Okay, this is uh, this is very complicated. It looks terribly complicated. I don't even see how we can wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're we're white. Mm -hmm. We have to check bait the king. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going for checkmate. We're not going for a draw here. That's not the intention. When we have a pawn on d7, we want to win. So what is... So first of all, now I have to check. Um, I'm seeing check on c2, but I want to know what happens if I get a queen. What's the, what's the problem? The problem is knight f7. Yeah, that's a very, very... Why didn't I see that? What the heck? <laughs> Oh, and boy. the other thing is if you move your king somewhere let's say you want to promote you, you just decide to move the king right then i can i can do what i can probably give some checks or even let's say oh. worst case i worst case i can can i just play a5 here anyways i i there it's it's True. of course not moving the king because your queen uh, like your um, you're not going to be able to promote one the second you give the move to the opponent i already have so many options like some knight check some bishop check and uh, that won't be it so that's just something you can already eliminate damn it okay um now because it's so mm -hmm. difficult to find a forcing move now what would be a forcing move would be either bishop to c2 check but also bishop to b3 which is the idea to stop the knight to go to f7 so then, okay. mm -hmm. then black has to oh actually that's not true he plays c4 though and gives you a check yeah or e2 yeah or that yeah, uh, no, not no, 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 it's, it's C4 is good, C4 is good, C4 is mm -hmm. good. Interesting. So you oh, you mentioned bishop C2, yeah. right? So if that happens, I'm going to play here, and I believe you run out of checks. I believe so too. That was the only one. Yeah, and <gasps> then there is no follow-up. I, I slipped so little, I'm sorry, I apologize. <laughs> It's not you because I'm thinking about the position right now. So I'm I'm yawning about my own. We'll I slept, get there once you get on the right track. We I'll, had a hurricane in Hamburg, and our cats were. Yeah. That's why they are sleeping now. Doesn't help, <laughs> you know that. <laughs> anyway, um, so what about if we make a king move? Let's go. The king move doesn't also help. Oh wow! I need a motive here. Hmm. The thing, yeah. When you when you make a king move, you just open up uh, so many options yeah for the opponent. that is too there's so many I, I need to find a forcing move mm -hmm. so if the king goes to g7 after the check and i have no check anymore what so how about i promote to a knight okay so if you do that i think i will have more checks than the thing oh. is, how are you going to how are you going to checkmate? Is my question. That, after you did that, well, that I didn't think of yet. <laughs> There's c4, and I think he has too many pawns, and one of his pawns is going to c4 or like um, e2, and then c2. Uh, no, not e. Yeah, yeah, c4, and then e2, c2, something okay. like that. I need a checkmate pattern. I need my knight to go to f7, checkmate the king. Oh, it's it's so difficult. It is really well. Do you see? Well, let's first figure out the forcing moves that we have left. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to figure that out. What's a forcing move left? Oh boy. What about? Okay. So what is it? Isn't it the knight f6 check? No. That's a good start. It is knight f6. And now e8 check. Oh, knight e8 check. Yeah. Oh, I have to... Yeah, sorry. I'm going to play here. Mm, why? I'm not going to go to f7. Uh, and we have no more checks. No, okay. Terrible. Yeah. And d8 still runs into knight f7. Okay, I think to to not so? exceed the show for too far... Well, okay, let's give it a h5. H5, I mean, good. Yeah, yeah, we're, you're on the right track. 
next check that's just what you do you you find the next yeah. checks oh okay your previous idea which you had you wanted to give this check for a while but you didn't it's a c2 yeah the bishop c2 so now we got the king to h5 he has less options and uh we like that so this next move i think is the more difficult one to find is it and yeah it's something that we've discarded earlier but now it's working because the king is now on h5 and we have um we have a yeah we're gonna have the trap. option to trap him so it's a move we've discarded earlier it's the most yes. obvious move so i guess it's the king to e5 king to e5 i don't think that's it no because uh it's too slow it's too slow it's too slow it's the knight can slow. always yeah. move away from g5 right so what about Ooh. so weird so let's see so we have this protected this protected and uh right now his escape is g4 so if we could yeah if we could somehow protect that it would be helpful that would be I mean, oh okay bishop um f5 no, bishop f5 isn't it. The bishop will have the, I think, the checkmate job, right? Yeah, so, you're right. So we, how else can you take control of g4? I actually don't know. I would love to take control of g4 with my king, moving it to right? f5. Right, and do you, do you have a forcing way of doing that? So is it d5, king d5? No, no, that's not a forcing way of doing it. No, it isn't. Definitely not a forcing there way There is a more it. forcing one, which I said <laughs> is hard to find. This is the hardest move, I think, to see. It's because you've discarded it very early on. Gosh. So getting a knight? Well, we can get a queen too. Yeah, <laughs> you we... don't always have to underpromote in our studies. So once you get oh. a queen, it's forcing. Because he has to take now. He has to go for that queen. It's beautiful. And now I see in that, it. You get a tempo. You're not done yet. Ah. Not done yet because you um, still not getting the not getting uh, black can prevent getting checkmated for a bit by playing e2. Oh, OK. Yeah, that's a good point. So bishop e4. You're close. I think the hardest part is, has been done. He's already um, yeah, he's he's already stuck. Bishop e4 yeah. sounds so good. What, and it, they're taking a knight, right? Yeah, they're not getting a queen; they're getting a knight. Because uh, if they get a queen, there's bishop f3 checkmate. So yeah, the whole point all along has been to checkmate him on this diagonal. So that hasn't been allowed. He's getting a knight, though. What do we do? Uh, Next move is hard. Yeah, it's hard. Do you do you want me to tell you what it is? Let me think for a short moment. You at home okay. too. Stop the video now. So far, play the moves in the board. Think of the next move. Can you get it faster than I? So which squares are still available for our bishop is how we think about it. Exactly. So um, it's d5. Uh, exactly. Actually, yeah. Right. Yeah. You're right. That, that that was a hard move, in my opinion, because we wanted to get to E2. Right. That's the yes. That's the square that's left for us. I mean, we could also do it from this diagonal, but so far it's impossible with this knight. So we want to get to E2. And the way to do that, the only way to do that, unfortunately, is to spend yeah those that's few crazy. moves to reroute. But <sighs> of course, he has his own ideas. Yeah. So we're going to go to C4. And it's going to be a knight. All right, to go to um, E2, but then he takes another knight, and we are frustrated again, but not for long. Because now we yes. can go to B5. Exactly, and threaten the mate on E8. But, but of course... Unfortunately... He's <laughs> and he's going to sacrifice okay. one of his knights. I thought the C pawn will promote to another knight. <laughs> <laughs> so That would be a lot. So, so we're going to take it. Yeah. He's going to play knight C7. Okay, so now we have to rewrote again, but where to? Oh, yeah, A4. One last square left, and it is, yeah, A4, because D1, I believe it's the only, it's the only one left on this diagonal that hasn't been protected by the knight, and you're done. This is the end of it, and there is now 
no way to defend against the bishop getting there. Of course, he can sacrifice some knights. Yeah. Or something like that. Um, yeah, no matter what he does. This it's, is even more frustrating than the other position. My goodness. That's going to be the end. So this was, uh, yeah, this was the study. I thought this one was a bit more difficult yes. than the rest, but I think it's it's more or less like follow-up. Once you know you're on the right track, the follow-ups are easier to find when it's, um, yeah, when you're making only moves. So, yeah, but I think wow. the initial one was very far. You couldn't have imagined the no, final. No, that was, that was a bit too tough. I, I have to say that, I, I didn't solve this one, but I got three right, at least, more or less. Yeah, you did. You did. So I'm happy about that. And uh, that was so much fun, Svetlana. Thank you very much for those smart moves. Very, very interesting to yeah, think a bit around the corner, take a look at the um, yeah. studies. Studies is something we don't see often and in, in, we don't train it often yeah. at all. And so every once in a while, it's uh, it can be fun to do some some creative ones like that absolutely with this everybody have a lovely day we see each other soon till then bye bye